Going down to visit the land, it was a really good trip. It was a very enriching experience. It was a blessing to be down there to see firsthand all the good things that people talk about about the school, to be able to see everything that's going on there and to see how excited the students were to be there and to just experience the preaching and the, and the atmosphere. Everything about it was just a blessing and it was just like, a breath of fresh air being able to be there and be a part of it for a little while and to see what it really is about. And to just commit to going for whatever he wants me to go for and to seek out his will from there and to just be a blessing to anyone and everyone I can and encourage him to do so as well. Also being able to go to the Ark was a really cool experience. Getting to see the Ark and how big it was and how exact it was according to what the Bible said and all. I'm glad I got to be a part of that and to be able to see how God used Noah and his family to preserve life on the earth. It was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It was my first time going to college days and I really enjoyed it. Um, a few weeks ago, I was thinking about um, something laid on my heart about going into the missions field and um, I really want to be a nurse, so um, I was hoping I can be a missions nurse. So when I went on this trip, it, um, it really like reassured me going into being a missionary nurse, so I'm really excited about that. And I just want to say thank you to Melissa and Trav for making this happen and I don't know what I would do if I wasn't going to be able to go on this trip. So I really thank them. And yeah, so it was a really great trip. We had a great uh, time out there and uh, uh, there was some really good messages preached that uh, were really um, pointed at, uh, at all of us. And uh, I think the teens got a lot out of it. And I know me and my wife got a lot out of ourselves. Uh, so these. Uh, the preaching that we hear is, is just as much for us as it is for the teens. And there was some good, really good messages that were preached that uh, um, there was one on friendship that the teens really liked and they want to they hear it over again and they want to they wanna post up some, th some things about it. It was actually, um, uh, I was talking about the seven points of friendship and how to check off hey, if, if a person is this type of friend or if you're this type of friend. And that was a, a real blessing to all of us. And, and all the teens talked about those messages. A Thursday night, they had, a, after the preaching, they kind of had a, a youth rally there where they did a bunch of games and things like that. And they wanted uh, youth pastors to come up there to play this game so I was able to come up and and uh, then they said hey call somebody from your youth group to come on up and uh, and to help out and so I ended up calling up Jordan and um, he had to take these uh, clothespins and clip as many of them to my face as he could as fast as he could and uh, he was going super slow and gentle just putting them on my beard and we lost really bad because he was afraid I was gonna hurt him if he if he did too many, so, uh, but I could have won a hundred dollars, so I'm not happy with him about that. So I, I might still hurt him. There's no turning back until I reach that shore. I choose the Lord. You're recording? Yeah. Oh, I'm not ready yet. Wait, are you doing a video or no? Like a farmer in the All right, so this was a good trip. Um, my uh, message that spoke out to me mainly was a message that uh, Pastor Gaddis, he, he preached about on the first night, he preached about um, choosing the right friends. So basically what he said was he presented us with this um, seven point inspection about your friends and he said if they don't pass this inspection that they aren't really your friend, that you should search for a better friend. So I'm just going to read some off. So one through seven is, 
Are your friends humble? Are they peaceful? Are they honest? Are they grateful? Are they stable? Are they caring? And are they supportive? And so basically, it, you don't have a friend until they pass all those guidelines. And then um, I'm just going to read this quote that he mentioned. He said that um, <clears throat> the pain of repair is much greater than the pain of a collapse. And so basically what that means is if there's something in your life that, um, that you know isn't right, it's going to be far less painful to fix it right now in this moment than it will be to wait till your life crashes and crumbles around that issue that you are harboring in your heart. And uh, yeah, that's it. And um, obviously, I want to thank Trav and Melissa. That's a ton of driving that they did. I was begging to drive. I was telling them how fast I could drive. Um, I told them I could drive 80 miles per hour and get us there in 10 hours instead of 24. So yeah, they, um, they deserve a, real, a lot of appreciation for all they did and all the kids and everything. You just like sitting in that driver's seat, don't you? Trap won't let me drive sometime this week. Yeah? By well or by force, I'll strap him up and put him in the back. <laughs> he gonna let me drive. Back up, because I'm gonna turn the windshield like it's on. Come on now, why everything got to be so complicated? You sure you can drive? Yeah. yeah I'm sure. There we go. That's just being lazy. No, oh, that's being innovative. Come on boys, what is that, mustard, baby food? He go! Hey man, where you been, man? Get a happy meal, man. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Ike. Your hat's on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yep, grab it by the crown, too. You don't want to grab it by the brim. <laughs> Can you tell we're from New York? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell you're not from around right here. <laughs> no, I don't know. Can give you um, Nice, man. <laughs> Hey 
having the opportunity to go to Heartland, I know you guys hear about it all the time, but just being there, you feel the spirit, and you just feel you just feel a love for God there. And uh, there's it, there's just no other place on earth like it. And I know once once you go there, you see that. And if you if you love God and love the things of God, then you'll love this place. And uh, and so they saw it there, and they felt it, and they want more of it. And so praise the Lord for that. Yeah.